What? Oh, I pulled off the wrong side. God, it's upside down. Let's try this again. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you can see here, I've got my iPad Generation 1 12.9 inch tablet. I absolutely love this thing to bits. I bought this when it came out in 2015. It's been seven years since this tablet came out and I have not ever upgraded from it. I absolutely love this thing to bits. Haven't had a need to replace it yet, but what we're doing today is we're installing a screen protector. I like the idea of getting back into drawing videos and one of the things I want to do is use a screen protector that actually has the sound of paper. Usually when you do videos with no music, you just have the sound of the Apple pencil or, a pe or pencil on a piece of paper scraping along the paper. It sounds really nice for every stroke. You really feel the tension. You really know how much pressure is being applied with each stroke. I think it works really, really well. But the other thing I want to point out is that this channel, although I've done tablet reviews on here, I've also done fight stick reviews on here. What I want to do with drawing is move all of my drawing content to a separate channel. Now actually a little while ago I had, I had a channel that was called Nihongo Gamer Vlog and I would go vlogging but eventually I didn't really do so much vlogging anymore, I just turned it into a drawing channel. Anyway, I'm going to revive it today and I'm actually going to use it as my basis of drawing content and ideally frequent drawing content. But for now, let's apply this paper-like screen protector and see just how much pencil scraping sound we can actually get out of it. So looking at online retailers here in Japan, this is one of the few options I could find. It cost me about $13. It's a Belmond paper type film. I guess they don't really call it Paperlike anymore because I think there's actually a company out there called Paperlike, but this is not that company. It looks like it comes with all the accessories you're going to require in order to install it. Let's go ahead and get it out of the cardboard, slide it out. This is the screen protector itself. So as you can see, the main thing about this screen protector is that it's actually the shape of the original Gen 1 iPad. On the newer iPads, they actually reduced the bezels significantly. And so in order to get a screen protector that actually fit over the home screen button and all that, had to find a company that actually makes Gen 1 screen protectors. So let's open the cleaning kit first, like so. I've got the dust removal seal. I guess, oh, it's a sticker basically. The wet wipe and the cleaning cloth. Let's do the wet wipe first. Just going to clean it in straight lines. I used to always do this in circular motions, but I've been told since learning how to wash my car that circular motions are a little bit more obvious when you create scratches. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm not creating any scratches using this wet wipe, but still any dirt that is still stuck to the screen. I don't want to drag it around the screen in a circular motion. And then after I've used that, the only thing I've got is now this cloth. So I'm going to use the cleaning cloth to finish the job. Aren't you impressed at the state of my iPad after seven years of use? I think I can only see one hairline scratch right here. Dust removing sticker. Yeah, this doesn't work at all. Don't know whose idea this was, but this sticker is actually creating extra marks on the screen. I'm going to remove my silicon case. I haven't done this for like seven years. If you were interested to know that's what my iPad actually looks like, it's the gold one, but you would never know because it's always in its case. This is how I've applied all my screen protectors for all my devices for over the years. We shall see if my method continues to work all these years later. All right, let's peel the seal off. What? Oh, I peeled off the wrong side. Oh, you peel off the blue at the end. Oh, God, it's upside down. Let's try this again. Okay. I think the position has worked out pretty well, actually, given the shape of the screen and considering that it goes over the whole bezel and not just the screen portion. Not, honestly, the positioning didn't need to actually be that accurate anyway. And the main thing we need to find out now is how does the texture feel? All right, got Clip Studio booted up here. Haven't actually tested the pencil yet, but let's find out what the texture feels like and sounds like. Oh. Okay, it does feel like paper. That's crazy. It does feel like paper, but it doesn't feel like my pencil is sharp. 
it does feel like it's shaving away at the stylus, but obviously in, in just, you know, 10 seconds, you're not gonna actually notice any actual shaving away. But I wonder how much shaving away of the stylus it's going to do over time. You feel a lot less of the paper texture using the side of the pencil, but when you use the very tip of the pencil, you feel a lot of texture. It could just be that the tip of the pencil is more rubbed away over just general use for the past few years. Okay, the surface feels like it's paper, but the, the pencil feels like, it feels like I've got some kind of rubber cap on the tip of my pencil and I've, I've forgotten to take it off. Let's just draw a, a face, shall we? Paper typey man, T paper typey man. And he will have a big paper collar. It kind of looks Halloween-y, doesn't it? Let's give him a cool hairdo as well. I actually completely forgot about the paper texture, by the way. I don't even think that the paper texture is really necessary, but you do hear it. I really wish I had a, an eraser on the back of the Apple Pencil. This is a Gen 1 pencil, by the way. But man, what an amazing first attempt at the Apple Pencil. Like, they got it right the first time. They updated it, but there was really no need to. All right then. And that's done it. Now I've recorded this with the microphone just above my head pointed at my mouth, but obviously if I were doing more drawing videos in the future, I'd probably get the mic and have it set up right next to my hand so that it really picks up the sound of just the pencil and nothing else. And I can really amplify it. Honestly speaking though, as you can probably tell right now, it's not very loud. If you're worried about buying a paper-like screen protector for your tablet, making the whole thing really, really loud and annoying, it's exactly the same as, it's actually quieter than if you were using a real pencil on real paper. So I'm impressed, I'm impressed. I, I think it feels a lot like paper. It's just that the Apple Pencil doesn't feel like a pencil now. But having said that, I am quite interested to test out these Apple tips that I've also purchased. I think these cost me something like $7 for a pack of, I don't know how many are in here, maybe 10, 30? I think there might be 30 in here. So let's just rip this bag open and pour these out and let's just choose a nice bright tip. Orange seems like the brightest one. And they definitely feel nylon-y and they just fit over the top of the pencil and they, they stick. It's not coming off, it's nice. And on this paper-like screen protector, oh, now it's basically silent. Interesting, okay, so this gives you a lot more control. If you're trying to draw smooth, slow lines, and you need that extra drag to prevent yourself from kind of jittering across the line. This definitely, definitely helps. It feels like I've put some sort of latex material on my Apple Pencil and I'm dragging it across something kind of grippy. Feels nothing like paper at all now. It's completely undone the texture feel of the paper, but it has increased the amount of grip and drag that I have on the pencil. And I can see where if you're drawing something very slowly and careful, maybe if you're doing something more design related, I can f see where maybe this would actually be quite desirable. But I think when you're just sketching and drawing quite quickly, you want the pencil to be quite smooth and not have to like dig f into the paper. And for that reason, it's most likely gonna feel a lot nicer to just be sketching with the standard Apple Pencil tip. And we will just see over time, how long does the Apple Pencil tip, how long can it go before it gets really shaved away? Anyway, that is all for today's video. Just wanted to show you that I've got the iPad 12.9 inch out and I'm going to be using it in future videos, but it's going to be on my drawing channel. So the link to the new channel, it's not really a new channel, the link to the drawing channel will be in the description box below. If you were already subscribed to the vlog channel, then it means you're probably already subscribed to the drawing channel. I've basically just changed the name so it's officially a drawing only channel. And it's gonna be very different to the content that I usually post on here on Nihongo Gamer. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen the Gen 1 iPad because you missed the whole thing in 2015 when they came out, this is how I charge my Apple Pencil. <laughs> I have to plug it into the base of the iPad and it looks like this. And does it look silly? Yes, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Do you use a textured screen protector on your drawing tablet? Let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more unboxings and testings and arcade sticks, fighting games, or any of that sort of thing. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the drawing channel and you want to see specifically drawing content, then do subscribe to that channel as well. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.